Our eyebrows play an important cosmetic role in daily life. Some studies show that the eyebrows are as important as the eyes for providing facial identity. Thinning eyebrows can therefore significantly impair self-esteem. If you've noticed that your eyebrows are getting rather sparse lately, you may wonder, can I bring them back to their glory? As it turns out, maybe. Eye drops used for glaucoma, called prostaglandin analog, have been studied for boosting eyebrow growth. Originally used in eye drops to lower the eye pressure, medications like latanoprost, bimatoprost, and travoprost have shown unexpected hair benefits. Let's see how it works. Our eyebrow hair cycles through three phases. Anagen, the active phase of follicular hair growth. Catagen, the transition phase and telogen, the resting phase. About 80 to 90% of eyebrow hairs are in the resting telogen phase. Prostaglandin analogues shift more of the hair follicles into the growing anagen phase, prolonging their growth phase. Within about 6 to 12 months of its use, prostaglandin eye drops may increase the eyebrow hair count, thickness, and length. Early research trials with various prostaglandin analogues have been promising. In 2001, scientists found that latanoprost drops caused increased hair growth in 77% of 317 patients with glaucoma. The macroprost drops were effective in increasing eyelash and eyebrow growth. A six-month bermatoprost trial using 0.03% concentration resulted in thickened hair growth compared to placebo. Here are some pictures that show increased eyebrow hair density and thickening after nine months of using topical bermatoprost in a 58-year-old lady. This is from another study. It shows excellent thickening of the eyebrow hairs after 16 weeks of treatment with mimatoprost 0.03% drops. Note that the eyelashes have also become thicker along with the eyebrows. Topical mimatoprost is available in the UK under the name Lumina and in the US it is called Latisse. However, there's no reason why we can't just use the normal eye drops that is prescribed for those with glaucoma as these tend to be a lot more cost effective. Remember that the higher concentration of 0.03% needs to be used, which is 300 micrograms per ml of the eye drops. It tends to be better than the lower concentration of 0.01%. A newer agent, Travoprost, has also shown promising results. Okay, how do we use this treatment? Current ophthalmic formulas may have a lower skin penetration, but can still be used. Specialized eyebrow gels using skin penetration enhancers or liposomal nanoparticles could offer better drug delivery. Apply a pea-sized amount of the gel or just one drop of the solution along the brow line at night after removing makeup. Apply to the root of the hairs with an applicator as if you're applying a liquid eyeliner. Just be patient because visible hair changes takes at least three months, maximizing at about one year. Remember that results may vary person to person and may not live up to high expectations. There may be potential adverse effects too. Mild irritation of the eyelids may occur, causing some redness and itching. These symptoms usually wear off, but some may need to discontinue using this product if they persist. Some darkening of the skin of the eyelids is not uncommon. This is also reported to reverse with time. In some, the color of the iris of the eye may darken, particularly those of hazel or brown eyes. Rarely, shrinkage of the fat cells around the eye may give us a hollowed look, but this occurs only in those who use it as eye drops for glaucoma, but not when applied for the skin for hair growth. So, what's the conclusion? The use of prostaglandin analog eye drops like bimatoprost have shown eyebrow growth and thickening, but large-scale studies are needed to determine the exact efficacy and the exact dosage. However, it does offer us all a huge glimmer of hope. I hope you found this information helpful. Thank you for listening and bye.